Hey there, so if you click on this video, um, you're gonna be stationed in Graf, Germany, and I'm um, just gonna give you some good information on what you need to know. Uh, fair warning for the video, this is uh, mainly most of this information will be for first duty station soldiers. Um, that is who I am, it's my first duty station out here in Germany. So um, if there's anyone who's watching this video and you are, this is not your first duty station, you're not coming straight out of AIT um, or anything like that, just comment down below and I can try to answer any questions that you may have. So first thing I wanna talk about is just initially how you're gonna be getting. Yeah, first thing will be your flight. Um, for me, I took 10 days of leave after I graduated from AIT. Um, so I was in Atlanta and then I flew up to Baltimore and then from Baltimore we flew all the way out to Ramstein, Germany. And um, that flight's about, I can't remember. I feel like it was like eight hours or something like that. I don't know. Um, I do suggest if you have a terrible time like falling asleep on planes, like bring like melatonin or something like that. So when you're traveling, you're obviously gonna be in civilians. So whatever kind of rumors you may have heard, PNN or whatever you may, have, may be thinking, uh, you will be traveling in civvies because um, you're, you're reporting to a duty station and you're not deploying. So, um, so yeah, you'll be traveling in civvies and then you'll be landing in Ramstein and this is probably where the first mistake happens for most privates or just first duty station um, is because you did not make enough copies of your orders. So that'd be a big tip for me is to make like at least 10 copies of your order. First thing you do when you get there, you're gonna be running into the USO in Germany and they're gonna ask for your orders. So you have to give up your orders to them and then you will be going downstairs to do a security check-in and they have like a couple of like German like security guards there that like check your orders and they look at your CAD card and make sure everything lines up. So uh, also other rumors that people have heard that like you need to get your, like you need to have your passport in order to like get here and that's not true. You just need your orders and your CAD card and that's it. But if you do have a passport, I highly suggest you just bring it because once you get here, you'll be able to travel and stuff. But I'll go into that more later. So once you, once you get all your bags and stuff from baggage claim, you'll go stay at a hotel for the night <clears throat> in Ramstein somewhere. It's a nice little like hotel. Um, and then from there that morning, you'll wake up, you'll jump on a bus. And it's like a five hour bus ride all the way from Ramstein down into Graf. But that's because they make a few stops along the way for food. And then also they're dropping off other soldiers that are in different uh, duty stations in Germany. So uh, about five, five and a half hour drive. And then from here, you'll get picked up by your sponsor once you're in Graf and then everything else will kind of fall into place with like getting your room and all the other stuff. Um, so your first, uh, your first thing you're probably gonna wanna do is obviously get a phone plan here. So if you, if you have one back in the States, um, your best bet is to let them know that you're active duty and you are going overseas for a certain amount of time and just let them know that and you can give them a copy of your orders, whatever, you, whatever your service was. I serviced with AT&T before this and they put my number in a hole so that way I was able to like have it when I, once I come back to the States. Um, so when you get here, there's uh, the, the phone and internet company here, it's called TKS. Phone service is good. Uh, they're gonna hit you with an installment fee though, so just be ready for that. And your payment will always be in euros. Um, so that's probably your first thing you're gonna end up doing. You're gonna wanna get your phone plan. And obviously once you're in your barracks room, you can go ahead and get your internet and then they have routers in all the rooms so all you do is you pay the fee once a month and they just turn on the uh, internet in your room so not a bad deal at all so next bit of things that will be happening um, you'll be in processing here for two weeks and that's a little bit longer than what I've heard from other posts and stuff like you know back in the states like there's like a three day in processing and then you're done but for here it's like a whole two week in processing uh, another rumor people have here is that the PX and commissary is all in Euro, and that, I don't know where, I've heard that before, that's obviously not the case. Um, it's just like a normal PX or commissary back in the States. So all things on post, you can pay for in American dollars. Um, I would say except for TKS, your phone and internet. Um, that'll all be, but you, you can pay with card with that, so you're fine. So since this is your first duty station, um, what it should be is that you're stationed here for two years, um, not the full three like everyone else. So you're just stationed here for two. Um, you can obviously extend that if you want to later on, 
the biggest thing obviously people want to come to Germany because they want to travel and I will say traveling here is very very easy um, you can literally jump on a train and within 40 minutes you're into the main city and then after that you can go pretty much anywhere you want at that point yeah and then also um, they have what's called Ryanair which is a um, it's a flight service that has like, really cheap flights anywhere in Europe like uh, I was looking at flights for Italy and I can, I can fly into Italy for like 23 euros and like that's crazy. So there's a bunch of different options for you um, for traveling and also you can bus. And then obviously they have MWR and bus trips that they do here. Um, you can go to like different places in Germany, Austria, France, Italy. I like to go really anywhere. I guess co comment down below if you decide like, or you have any like, more questions, like personal questions you may have. Um, I'll be free to like answer any of those questions um, or if you want me to like maybe do like a base tour or something like that you want to like see what the post looks like see what the barracks looks like I mean I can do like a, a room tour I guess at some point if someone wants that I can see what the room I'm living in right now is a uh, single soldier barracks so just um, yeah just shoot me any questions you have uh, another good tip uh, what I was saying earlier about your passport is that, you know, obviously if you have one, bring your passport. But then if you don't have one, bring like your, uh, your birth certificate. So that way when you come here, you can just go ahead and go to the office on post and you can get your passport. You just turn in your birth certificate and you, like, you do like an online application. And within like a month, you can get a passport here. And yeah, just for all international travel. Um, also, if you are wanting to drive here, um, if you want to go ahead and knock it out, you can go on to JKO. And if you're just coming out of AIT and you don't know what JKO is, uh, well, you're gonna learn. Um, but go on to JKO and you can do the Europe driver's training course. It's like a, it's really not that hard. You just go through the course and then literally when you get to the test, you can look up the, the Europe driver's manual and you can just get through it just like that. Um, if you decide not to do that, you will go into an actual in-class um, course and it's an all-day thing and then at the end of the day you take the test and then if you fail that test and you have to wait like another week or something like that to go in there again. But if, you can literally just go into the online portion and do it there and it's so much faster and easier. So I highly suggest that. So if you're worried about like prices of cars and stuff like that, I would, I would probably say there's about two options for you as a uh, newly enlisted soldier coming in to the army and you're obviously wanting a car or something, I would say there's two options. One, you can get a beater car while you're here and I mean, you can get one for like a thousand euros, literally cheap, and just ride with that car for a little bit because I mean, just to like, if you want to travel, you, you really don't need a car to go out that far for traveling. You can just, you can just drive to the train station and then from there you can go wherever you want. So. Um, or you can do the second option, which is to obviously buy like a nice newer car and then that can, you can eventually ship that back to the States if you wanted to. So, um, also if you're shipping a car here, um, it'll take about a month to get here. Like once you're already here, it'll be like a month after you get here that your car will get here. Um, I know a lot of people coming out of AIT probably won't be shipping any cars here, but there might be. So. Again, if you have any questions, like just just put them down below. Like I will make sure to answer them because um, I know there's a lot of questions that people have. Um, but overall, um, Germany is great. It really is beautiful. Um, it does get cold here. Um, I mean, it's literally July right now. We're already getting back into like the cold front, where we're like right now, um, on average, it's around like 55 degrees, 60 degrees, and I get it early in the morning. It's like 43 ish. So like we're getting back down in the colder times, which is great, especially if you're coming during the cold winter months. Uh, we have like all the heaters in the world, but if you're coming during the summer, we don't have any AC. So that's like one thing that Germany does is there's just no AC, which is insane. But yeah, um, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. Um, hopefully you kind of got some like insight on things you didn't know about or maybe things you need to know. So hopefully this video was uh, informational for you. Um, for all you people that are in AIC right now, just know that you got a damn good duty station. So just be ready and be excited. Um, if you have any more questions or anything, just leave them down below and uh, have a good one.